Science is more and more a part of our everyday life. When I was growing up, science was not. Science is actually happening around you. It has an impact. You can't take that distant view of it anymore. H.G. Wells, when I was a boy, he had a big effect on my life. I was at camp, so I must have been around 10 or 11, and I read a book by H.G. Wells about a future world in which intelligent robots took care of making everything, and the people didn't have to work all day. And I thought, gee, that's a great idea. You know, it'd be like being in camp all year round. And when I finally met a computer, then I realized this is it. And that's basically why I joined IBM, because they had the thing that H.G. Wells was talking about, and I wanted to be a part of it. I joined the Navy because I didn't want to do theoretical math that only a few people could understand. The Navy did give me a chance to do really applied mathematics, and they didn't have anybody but me, as far as I can tell, who had a PhD in mathematics. It, it, it was um, just a life-changing experience. I started to work and learn about OR, operations research, and the techniques that are used in that. It was really just thinking mathematically about practical problems, and, and the world is full of them. And they had some Navy problems, which they didn't know how to solve. I invented a method to solve them, but it turned out that method, which is called integer programming, has uh, all sorts of other applications and became a very big thing. And they said, look, we've got mathematical ways to design a task force. It's a group of ships. It might be an aircraft carrier and a couple of destroyers, and maybe a cruiser. What ships should go together with the right range and the right guns and the right aircraft? But the trouble is, using linear programming, the ships often come out fractional. And I said, it's about getting integer, which is whole number solutions to linear programs. And they said, that's impossible. And that's why when I found a way to do it, it made a big splash and suddenly I was well known. I wanted to go out where there were computers, which I felt were the wave of the future and there'd be problems they wanted to solve. And so IBM's research division, which was just being set up, seemed like the obvious place to go. In research, we work both on IBM products and on scientific understanding. When I became the head of IBM research, we were going to contribute to science and to IBM because by contributing to science and being part of the, the world of science, that's how you get good people. A good one was the scanning tunneling microscope. A couple of our guys in our Zurich lab got the idea for making a totally new kind of microscope because we needed to know where the atoms on the surface of silicon were. It worked for silicon and it worked for everything else. And it ended up actually winning the Nobel Prize for Physics. I've always been an applied person. I've always wanted to solve problems in the real world. I want to have an effect. 